Hey, what's up everyone? Steven here, SRW. And today I got another Sanyo Incognito video for all of you people I've been getting. A lot of requests, a lot, and when I say a lot, I mean a lot of requests to do more videos on the Sanyo Incognito. For uh, This one is for Boost Mobile, also available for Sprint, and there I am, just in case you want to see me. Um, so, uh, pretty much I've been getting a lot of requests to do more videos on this phone, and in this particular video we're going to be going over web browsing web browsing on this phone now first off I'm just gonna it's gonna be a, I'm gonna try to make it a quick video you know it's just the web browser nothing much to show uh, I'll go ahead and start it up while I talk here um, the web browser that comes with the Samuel Incognito is uh, how do I put this nicely suckish I, I don't like it at all um, very little features uh, I'll just show you guys here alright so um, when you open up the web browser on the Sanyo Incognito, you're prompted with this home page, which is the Boost Mobile, uh, you know, mobile home page. You can surf the web, get stuff, reboost, things like that. You go ahead and hit up, and you can uh, change the URL right up here. I go ahead and hit delete on there, and that deletes it. So I'll go ahead and show you guys uh, Twitter. I just, you know, and then here it shows you the uh, recently viewed websites. I type in Twit, and it comes up Twitter. You know, hit OK, and then, you know, you have a little loading bar down here, uh, which tells you how much the web page has loaded. Uh, it's fairly fast, not too fast, not as fast as your AT&T 3G or anything like that, but it'll definitely get the job done. All right, so here we have mobile Twitter. Now, if most of you don't know, mobile Twitter uh, has problems logging in. Um, you know, you go ahead and type in everything correctly. So I'll, I'll go ahead and type in my password off camera. Alright, so I typed in the right password. I go ahead and hit sign in. Here's the problem with mobile Twitter on most phones. Uh, when you hit sign in, it takes you back to the login page, even though everything was correct. I used to think that I was that I was typing in the wrong password, but it wasn't. So I can't really show you guys that. I didn't really show too much. I'll go ahead and show you guys YouTube, though. Alright, you... I typed it. YouTube. Hit OK. Hit Done. Loading bar loads up. And... Alright, so here we have mobile YouTube. Uh, you go ahead and sign in right up there. You know, it's just I'm not showing you the web page. I'm showing you the web browser. Um, so no, you can you can go through everything. You can uh, watch videos. Actually, no, you can't on the incognito yet. For the incognito for Boost Mobile, you can't watch YouTube videos yet. But there, I I heard in many different places that there's going to be a firmware update for this phone, so you can now watch YouTube videos, or so you can watch YouTube videos later on. As of right now, you can't though. Uh, just to show you guys, I'll go ahead and hit a video. Um, watch video. Right. This device is unavailable. See, there you go. So I can't show you that. So I'll go ahead and show you guys another web page. Let's see. All right, there we go. The Creative One TV. If you guys don't know him, he's the Creative One on YouTube. David Franco is a really cool guy. Um, I go ahead and hit OK. Now the reason I want to show you guys this because. I don't think he has a he doesn't have a mobile version of this website. It's only the full version, so I want to show you guys uh, a full website what it looks like on this phone. So there I am looking into the viewfinder of the camera. So right now it's trying to load the whole web page. There's no mobile version. That's why I wanted to give you guys an example of this. You see the little loading bar down there. All right, so here we have the web page loaded so n now we don't no now we do all right so here we have you know the uh, the website so we here's a social blog um hmm oh there's my post anyway uh i would show you guys what this looks like on the computer here's a screenshot of the website and uh as you can see it pretty much puts everything vertically so you have to scroll down and get through the whole page it doesn't even show you the whole web page sorry about that I got a uh, phone call so here um, it's not giving me even giving me the whole web page all right so as you, look at that little scroll bar it's you see that little tiny scroll thing I have to go through all that it put the whole web page vertical so it can it won't let me scroll to the side it'll only let me scroll up and down which kind of sucks now see how annoying that is? So that's not very fun. And then say I want to change the URL. I have to go all the way back to the top. Again, but of course I can hold up and it'll go kind of fast. Alright, so that was a full web page on this web browser. Um, now, 
done with the web pages, I'll go ahead and hit toolbar. Uh, we have back, we have uh, forward button, we have home page, which is automatically mobile, boost mobile. My pages, you know, uh, history, favorites, and such. Search, which is probably some boost mobile search thing that's cheap. Uh, and options for font size, privacy settings, and etc. So there we go, we have the whole, um, I just showed you guys the whole mobile experience on the Sanyo Incognito for web browsing. Uh, again, wasn't a uh, too much of a video. I'm trying to keep it kind of short, even though I'm past five minutes, which I didn't want to do. Anyway, uh, overall, not the best mobile web browser out there. I don't like it, but there is a solution. There is a solution, and if you want to see that solution to mobile web browsing, which will make web browsing on this thing amazing. I mean, I just love this application. It's a mobile web browsing application called Opera Mini 5, which actually, um, a person on YouTube who was asking me about this phone he told me about it and his name is uh, Rainbow K 11 d he sent me a message saying uh, would you mind trying out mini or Opera Mini 5 on the Sanyo Incognito and I did and I loved it that's why uh, that is my uh, primary mobile web browsing app uh, but anyway annotations right here please check that out because it's a video I'm going to make uh, it's about that application I just want all of you to know about it so anyway overall web browsing incognito with the default web browser kinda sucks all right, so any more questions on the Sanyo Incognito, please be sure to ask me in the comments below. If you want to see text messaging on this phone, uh, music playback on this phone, uh, the OS overview of this phone, anything on this phone, just go ahead and ask below. I'll be happy to answer your question or make a video on it. All right, so once again, overall, the default web browser isn't the best. All right, but there's a solution, annotation. Make sure you click that, Opera Mini 5. Anyway. Thanks you all. Thank you all for watching very much. I will catch you guys in my next video. Peace.